quedo dormido. No, yo me he dormido, no le creo yo.
Hi. Hello, hello, good evening. Hi girls, how are you? Fine, thank Me you. Escuchan? Nice. Hello. How are you? How are you? ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo me les está yendo? Everything good? Hi, teacher. Thank you. And you? I'm all right. Everything is super good. So, how was your day, Ada? Nice? Un poco nice. más descansada? Yes. Yes. Ah, okay. Good. Was... Friday is tired. Ah, uh, este día es tranquilo. This day is like calm. Ah, okay, okay. Tomorrow is, is complicated. <laughs> Tomorrow. Okay. Yes. Nice. That's very good to hear. Let me see. Hold on. Uh, so everybody, good evening. Thank you very much for joining today's class. Uh, Francisco, hello, good evening. Nice to see you today. We got Ada also. Uh, Doris, hello, Doris. Uh, Berito Milagro, hey, how are you? Hello. ¿Cómo están? ¿Cómo les ha ido? Everything good? Super ready? Super ready. Yes, okay, good, good, good. Doris, Milagro, Francisco, ¿cómo estuvo su día? How was your day? Fine. Fine? Very good. Very good, okay, yeah. nice. I'm glad to hear. Eh, ¿Alguien vive en la zona de San Salvador? ¿Nadie tuvo problemas por lo de las inundaciones and everything? No. Not much. Yeah, because I saw the pictures and it was very difficult. It looked very difficult. Mm -hmm. All right. Christian, hello, Christian. Good evening. How are you? Hi, good evening, everybody. Hello, Hi. hello. How are you, Christian? How's everything? Yes, I'm fine. Okay, nice, nice. Thank you so much for, for joining today's class. Gracias por la super punctuality. You know, thank you for being there. Eh, ya vamos de bajadita, así que ya nos falta like just a little bit. Mañana es viernes, tomorrow is Friday, we are finishing the week, we are finishing casi la semana 3, almost week number 3, nos falta solo una, and then it's like almost over, you know. So super, super nice, and, and thanks for, for coming today. Eh, let me start by sharing, by presenting my screen, okay. So let me present my screen here. Okay, so today we got session number 13 and today is October the 8th, right? Um, uh, guys, just a little question. Alguien ya avanzó con las tareas? Have you started completing some of the homework? Han tenido dificultad con alguna de la plataforma? Oh, está, estamos super bien, like very, very good on that. Yes. Berito? Yes, better. All right. Okay, okay. Glad to hear that. Okay. Or glad to see that. <laughs> yes, Berito? El único, el único problema que yo que he tenido hasta el momento es ayer, que no, o sea, me quise conectar para el, para la reunión que, que tenía programada uh -huh. y nunca me dejó conectarme. Se quedó cargando y me decía que ya, ya había una reunión. Una sesión abierta. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Fíjese que últimamente eh, están haciendo actualizaciones en Zoom. Entonces, si les da, creo que a Milagro también le había sucedido algo así. Me recuerdo que, que nos había dicho. Entonces, si les pasa algo así, es como borren el historial, you know, in, in, entren nuevamente con todas las credenciales, poniendo su correo, and everything, porque a veces son ya errores de, de por los mismos updates, por todos los cambios que están sucediendo. But, but thank you, thank you everybody. También veo por acá Madeline. Hi Madeline, good evening. Fatima también. Hello, nice to see you, Fatima. And uh, let me see, let me see. Yeah, we got should they here. Okay, guys. So let's 
start working with today's uh, class. Uh, we continue today talking about present continuous, pero vamos con un poquito más. We are going to be asking questions. So vamos a practicar questions for future and questions for activities that you are doing right now. So this is what we are going to be working. And I have a little uh, activity here for you. This is vocabulary exercise. And here we have vocabulary review. I have some words in, um, in light blue color, okay? And I have some sentences on the yellow area, okay? So what you have to do, guys, is only match, okay? It's the vocabulary que vamos a ver ahora. We are going to study this vocabulary today. We will see this in context, okay? But before starting, vamos a revisar like the meaning of some of these words uh, because we have like a little conversation that we are going to check. So we have the word lift, we have the word payroll, we have the word improve, we have advances, and we have colleagues. Now, the question is, ¿a dónde va? Where can I use each of the words that I have here? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Eh, I will give you like five minutes. Pueden revisar su diccionario. You can check your dictionary. You can check your notes. Si tienen el material, eh, también pueden revisar su material. Estas mm -hmm. están in your material. So you can check your material. You can check some, um, you know, anything that you need to check. And if you have questions, please let me know. Five minutes y luego eh, vamos a revisar. We are going to check the meaning of those words. Hey, Cesar, good evening. I see Cesar. Sandra also. Hi, Sandrita. Good, hello, evening. good evening. Hello, hello. Thank you for joining. Yo no lo encuentro en el manual. No sé en qué página estará. No, no está así. <laughs> no está oh. exactamente así, pero son palabras. Eh, ya le digo, permítame un segundito y le muestro el manual. Son tomadas de la página número 33. Aquí estoy en la 33. 33 y 34. So 33 and 34. No lo voy a encontrar exactamente así. Uh -huh. Pero son tomadas. File roll. Uh -huh. Saving exactly. analysis. Es el, el número 4. Your turn. Yeah, so. Um, mm, yes, yes, exactly. Pero thank you very much. Yes. Ese es exactamente el material. Entonces pueden tener como referencias de qué significa. Si no quieren revisar el diccionario, lo pueden hacer con las referencias. No hay ningún problema. You're totally good with that. So I'll give you five minutes. Revisenlo, take a look at it. Y me ayudan luego. Then you can help me. Hi teacher, good evening. Creo que escuché la voz de, de Luz. Hola. No, no Avilén. Avilén. Avilén es su voz, no sé por qué la confundo con la de Luz. <laughs> Hi Avilén, thank you so much for joining. Hey, Creo que por ahí por venir también estar, a Herson. No, no, tranquila, no. al contrario, gracias. Hi Herson, al contrario, gracias Avilén por, por unirse. How are you, Herson? Fine, and you? I'm okay, I'm okay. Everything good so far? No, okay. Herson. This is the activity? Yes, this is the activity. This is vocabulary review. So this vocabulary is on the página 33 and 34 of your material. So uh, we are checking the vocabulary before. Lo único que tenemos que hacer es look at the words, ponerlas en el lugar, en la oración, like place them in the correct space. 
I'll give you like four, five minutes y luego revisamos. Then we can check. Okay. Thank you. Igual la actividad que hicimos, ¿verdad? Igual a lo que hicimos ayer. Exactly. Solo que es yes, so de, como de macharlo, right? Hacer el matching, hacer el cruce. Solo que ahora es nuevo vocabulario. We got new vocabulary. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Finish. Thank you very much. Okay, guys, so vamos a esperar al resto. We are going to give them some seconds to finish as well. In the meantime, todos tienen captura. Do you have a screenshot? Puedo dejar de compartir. Some seconds. All right, guys. Voy a dejarles de compartir acá un segundito. Eh, solo voy a pasar asistencia antes de continuar. Voy a pasar el primer control and uh, me ayudan con su cámara, porfa. And uh, tell me present when I say your name. So. Today is eighth. Okay. So I got Fatima Lopez. Present teacher. Thank you, Fatima. Ada Susana. Present teacher. Nice. Creo que tenemos casi la perfect attendance, girls. Good job. Christian Alexander. Present teacher. Thank you, Christian. Eh, Luz. Creo que todavía no. Avilene, yes, right? Present. Thank you. Uh, let me see. I got Silvia Jamilet. Silvia todavía no, right? Francisco Eduardo. Present. Thank you, Francisco. Sandra Beatriz. Present teacher. Thank you, Sandra. Herson. Present. Thank you, Madeline. Present. Thank you, Veronica. Present. Thank you so much. Doris. Present teacher. Nice. Milagro. Present. Thank you, Milagro. Eh, Cesar. Present. Present, Miss. Thank you so much, guys. Give me just a quick second. Let me see. I can't okay. mention it. Jennifer. Hey, Jennifer. Hello, teacher. Hello, Miss. Good evening. I'm going to make you here. Okay. Thank you very much. I think I mentioned everybody else. Okay, everybody. So let me share my screen one more time and let's go with the exercise. Okay. So we got the first one and the first one says, I need to. 
Oh, let's go with lift. ¿En cuál oración cabe lift? Let's be careful when you lift the book. It is too heavy. All right, let's take a look. So we got... Yes, very good. So be careful when you lift the box. It is too heavy. Very good, very good. So lift, right? Payroll. Where can we use payroll? My boss checks the payroll at the end of the month. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, let me take. Yes, excellent. So my boss checks the payroll at the end of the month. So the payroll, the list, your money, your salary. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. Improve. What about improve? I need to improve my English to travel to USA. Ah, let's take a look. Yes, I need to improve my English. Yes, I need to improve to get better, to be better. Advances. What about advances? There are new, there are new advanced in technology. Yes, very good. There are new advances in technology. And the last one is my colleagues are the best. They are nice my and helpful. Are the best. They are nice and helpful. Very nice, exactly. Do you have something like this? Yes. Yes. Okay, okay. Very good, very good. So if you get something like this, let's take a look at a conversation. Where we can see some of these words. Um, so it says here, uh, describe a schedule activities at the workplace or a schedule events. Uh, Jennifer, can you please help me, Jennifer? Can you help me read the part of rows? Okay. And uh, let me see. And Christian, can you please help me read the part of Mary? So Rose is for Jennifer and Mary is for Christian. Thank you guys. Okay. Hello, Mary. What are some activities you are doing this week? Hi, Rose. Well, there are many things I am doing this week. For example, I am sending some payrolls on Tuesday and sending emails on Wednesday. And you? That's okay. I am taking to college and checking yeah. reports. And who is analyzing the advance in the company? Peter is. Okay, very good. Yes, tell me. Okay. No, that is. Oh, okay, okay. Thank you, Jennifer. Thank you. That was very nice. Okay, everybody. So let's uh, check some words. Let's repeat this one. Signing. Signing. Mm -hmm. What is the meaning of signing? Firmando. Firmando. Thank you very much. So I sign papers and the person here says, I am signing some payrolls. This means your money, okay? Your salary. Okay, the other one is this one. Let's repeat, analyzing. Yeah. Analyzing. Analyze, analyzing. Analyzing. Advances. Advances. Mm -hmm. So they are talking about the advances in the company, analyzing the advances in the company. So uh, the question here, we have some key questions. Let's take a look at what we got. The first one says, uh, what are some activities you are doing next week? Están hablando de futuro, right? So guys, what are some activities that you are doing next week? We can use this one. Well, there are many things I am doing this week. Or, yeah, I'm doing this week. For example, I am preparing the exams. I am checking the exams. I am teaching classes. I am preparing some documents for next week, okay? I am talking with my supervisor. So what are some activities that you guys are doing? I will give you two minutes. Do me a big favor. En un pedacito de papel in a piece of paper, escribamos, let's write some of the activities that you guys are doing this week. ¿Qué están haciendo? What are you doing this week? 
please, on a piece of paper, en el cuaderno, eh, you know, en, en un documento de Word, en un blog de notas. So, write it down. Hagamos una lista de cosas que ustedes están haciendo. What are you doing? Oh, thank you guys for coming. I see Sandra Patricia. Thank you so much, Sandra. Nice to have you today. I got Luz also. Hello, Luz. Thank you so much for joining. ¿Cómo están? How are you? How was your day? Buenas noches, teacher. Hello. Hello Hi. there. Hola. How are you, Luz? ¿Cómo le va? Everything good? Thank you. Okay, I'm glad to hear that. Let me see. I got one in the chat. Hello. Hey, Edith. Hello. Hey, oh, nice. Miss, no, no la veo connected here, pero la veo en el chat. <laughs> Let me see. I don't see your picture. O se, o se me ha perdido todo. Creo que están haciéndole como un update a Zoom. Silvio, Silvia is coming. Nice, nice. Edith, hello, good evening. Thank you so much for hello. joining. Good evening. How are you, Edith? Everything good? Fine. Nice, fine, nice fine. to hear that. Thank you Thank so you. much for being here. I got uh, Silvia also. Isaac is coming as well. Hello, Isaac. Thank you so much for joining. All right, guys, so this is your activity. Answer this question. What are some activities you are doing this week? So, ¿qué están haciendo esta semana? What are you doing this week? Creo que Gerson tiene dificultades with the audio. No se dice evaluación. You can say evaluation. <laughs> Thank you, teacher. Welcome. Oh, estaba <laughs> en... <laughs> it was activated. Harrison, hello. Evaluation. Harrison, can you hear me? Final evaluation. Okay. Final. Person is going. I'm going to text him. ¿Cómo no? Porque te va a lavar. Mira tú ahí en... El internet está... No, 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 está ya, a ver. no sea dramática tampoco. No, pero no, mamá, no exageres. Mira, no busques... Okay, everyone, do you need more time? Do you need one minute, two minutes? Are you ready?
Don, teacher. Thank you very much. That was Cesar, right? Thank you, Cesar. Don. Thank you, Francisco. Don, teacher. Thank you, Doris. Don, teacher. Thank you. Um, Herson, give me just a second. Herson, yo lo veo conectado, pero me indica si, si, si usted me escucha. No, I think he's out. Okay. Okay, everyone. So we are going to talk about activities that you have to do. But first, let's stay, yeah, let's practice this part first because later vamos a ir con el resto of equations with WH. So I'm going to um, ask you guys to join these small groups, okay, and answer this question. So remember the question is, what are some activities you are doing this week? Ya todos la tienen lista? Is everybody ready? ¿Alguien necesita más tiempo? Do you need more time? No. No? no? Nice. Okay. Mm -hmm. That is excellent. Very good. So I'm going to invite you guys to go to these groups. I, I will give you five minutes only. Listen to your classmates and listen to the activities they have to do this week. So let's go, let's join that. Let's join it. Sing me some payroll. Let's join it. Hear song, hello. Herson, can you hear me? Teacher. Hi, Herson. Can you hear me? Yes. Right now, yes. Okay, I can hear you now. Nice. Puedo entrar nice. desde el teléfono. Yes, uh, desde el teléfono estoy ahorita. Desde, desde hoy, uh, hace un momento también desde el teléfono, pero eh, no sé por qué no, escuch, no le escuchaba. Sí, yo vi que se le había como bloqueado la parte entonces, del micrófono. Entonces, eh, entonces voy a poner los audífonos para que se escuche mejor. Ah, vaya, sí, vaya, nice. Entonces, ahorita me buscamos. Sí, porque ahora sí ya lo escucho. I listen to you. Eh, Gerson, solamente una preguntita. ¿Bajó la aplicación o esa es de la web en el teléfono? No, no. La aplicación es desde el teléfono de la aplicación. Ah, ok, ok. So, esperemos que no le dé problema. Yo ya lo escucho, así que I think we're super, super good. Igual si necesita ayuda, eh, let me know y así le, les escribo a los chicos de soporte para que me le ayuden también. No se preocupe. So, le voy, a, eh, le voy a enviar ahorita la invitación para que pueda unirse a, a este grupo y practicar. Me confirma si la logra ver ahí en el teléfono. Let me know. Person logra ver la invitación. Can you see the, the invite? Mm -hmm. 
please. Okay. Okay, Francis. So yeah, I am doing the bank reconciliation. I am doing the bank reconciliation. Reconciliation. Uh -huh. reconciliation. Reconciliation. Ah, la reconciliación bancaria. Yes, yes. Dice, eh, eh, así es, bank reconcili reconciliation. What is the word in Spanish? Reconciliación bancaria, like that. Yes. Yes. Mm, okay, give me a second. Bank reconciliation. And what is that? Este como la conciliación bancaria es como el cruce. ¿vale? Ajá, es, es lo que yo tengo y lo que dice el banco. Okay, let me see. It says a bank reconciliation statement. Is a document that matches the cash balance of a company to the Correcto. corresponding amount on its bank statement. Yes. So it is called a bank reconciliation yes. statement. Statement. Bank reconciliation. I'm going to write it in the chat. I don't know if you have access right now. Bank reconciliation statement. Statements son como los documentos, entonces statement es como el, el, el documento. Uh -huh. So, a reconciliation statement. Okay. Thank you, that's a new word for me. <laughs> Ay, la borró. Okay. Está en el chat, it is in the chat. ¿Tienen acceso? Yes, right? Yes. Yes. Yes, yes. Ok, ok, nice. Tengo una nueva palabra también. Ah, tell me. Quarren. Quarren. Creo que así se, se pronuncia. Quarren. Can you spell that for me? Lo voy a, lo voy a escribir. Please. Lo escribo, lo escribo. Yes, please. Quarren. I don't know if it's like a rail, like fighting. No, cotizar. Ah, quoting, like a quote. Like a quotation. Uh, sí. This one? Sí, quote? Yes, ahí me falta una yes. Okay, yeah, quote. Yes yes. yes. yes, exactly. That's the word. Mm -hmm. Quoting. ¿Cómo se pronuncia? Quote. Quoting. Yes. Quote. Quoting. Mm -hmm. ¿Cómo Quoting. se Yo tengo una también que tengo duda. El orden de las palabras. Mm -hmm. Es, I am checking mm -hmm. proposals business. I am checking some, I am checking some business proposals. Proposal. Business proposal, propos, proposals. Yes, I'm checking. La, proposal, like the movie, como la película La Propuesta. I am checking some business proposal. Uh -huh. Ah, you see the, <laughs> you know the movie, right? <laughs> yes, yeah, so I'm checking some yeah. business proposal. Like yes, that's my favorite comedy movie. <laughs> if you have new vocabulary, you, you can write it in the chat and we check together. No worries. Okay. okay. Thanks. Hi. Hola. I am staying in my house. And I am wash barrel wash and ENG washing. Yeah, that's right. I, I am washing the clothes. After I am um, made the breakfast in the afternoon. And what is the dishes? Um, clean my house, cleaning my house. Um, 
Sunday, I doing visit my family. Uh, I I going room in the park and practice. I I practices and dance. Uh, I doing draw draw. Hi, that was nice, Avelina. That was very, very nice. <laughs> I, I have a little exercise for you. Uh, so, quiero que practiquemos algo, Avelina. So, díganos lo mismo. Tell us the same, pero un poquito más rápido. A little bit fast. In the chat, le voy a escribir un par de palabras que vamos a usar para combinar. We can use and and we can use also. Okay. So, díganos lo mismo. Tell us the same, pero ahora incluyendo and o incluyendo also. For example, eh, tomorrow I am checking some reports and I am eh, talking to my boss. On Saturday, I am having a meeting. Also, I am, eh, I don't know, checking my email. Okay, so no, also, don't okay. worry too much. Also, es, lo mismo que, es lo mismo que and pero suena más bonito. Ah. <ríe> la idea es como ir combinando, like put together la, las oraciones y que no suene como cortadito, right? So, give it a try. Oh, intentemos, en contexto, intentemos. En el contexto también se convierte en también tengo que. Sí. Uh, okay. También se convierte en también. So, podemos usarlo. De hecho, en en also lo usamos de la misma forma, pero si usted dice also, se escucha muchísimo más, más bonito, right? Más variado. Ah. So, we can use en en also. Mm -hmm. So, Avilena, give it a try. One more time, un, poco, un poquito más rápido, utilicemos and and also. No lo piense too much. Vaya. <laughs> let's do it, let's do it. I doing, I ya me quedé, me trabé. No, va super bien, va super bien. I am doing, uh -huh. I, I doing room in the park. Also, I <laughs> wash the dishes. Mm -hmm. Also, uh, I I go and visit my family. Very good. Uh, Ahora agrégueme el I am. I am. I am. Mm -hmm. uh, cleaning my house. Mm -hmm. uh, and practices uh, exercise and dance. Very nice, very nice. Thank you very much. Very good job, exactly. So, cuando los combinamos, se escucha incluso mucho más rápido. Aunque usted vaya con la misma velocidad, nos da más, eh, la idea que usted está combinando, se escucha muchísimo mejor. Very como nice job. Fluidez. Como, mm -hmm. como fluidez, exacto. Nos da la fluidez. Nos da fluidez y nos da, esto, que... nos da cohesión. Tengo que hablar un poquito más rápido. No, 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 no tiene que hablar más rápido. Tenemos que usar como palabritas así como and and also para que usted vaya combinando lo que va diciendo y se escuche lo que Sandra menciona un poquito más fluido, sin necesidad de correr como pura metralleta, right? Because it is not necessary. Pero da la, la impresión que usted está conectando y eso es lo más importante, that you connect your ideas. So very nice job. Guys, now try to do it. You know, try to talk about your activities. No lo piensen demasiado, solamente recordemos, I am. I am practicing, also I am reading, and so ya les, la, les estamos utilizando y se escucha que hablo rápido, pero en realidad no. Solo las estoy combinando. So give it a try, give it a try. I'll see you in two minutes. Ya sé que me sale como sleep. No, ajá, es que es I am sleep. Yo es que yo lo, yo lo pongo como I am sleepy in the house de my mother. Pero no sé si es así o es I am sleepy in the at, in the at, my mother house. Porque fíjense que dice mothers con S porque es la casa de mamá. House. Hay que preguntarle uh -huh. a I'm ready. Pero dice. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, Luz, you are totally mm -hmm. right. So I am sleeping in my mother's house. Uh, That's right. 
Es allá en Slipe. Sleeping, sleeping, como sleeping. estoy durmiendo estos días. You in think. my mother's house. In my mother's mother's house. In the house. Mm, in my mother's house. House. Mm -hmm. Repeat it. Say it. Say in it. My... I am sleeping. Mm -hmm. At my mother's house. Very good. Exactly. That's good. 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 Nice. Thanks. You are welcome. Okay, girls. So, how are you doing here? Terminaron? Did you finish? Do you need more time? Um, Go in, chicas. Yo una, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco. Cinco. You are checking. Can, can you repeat, Luz? I am check my email. I am check my email. Okay, super, super, super. super. Yes, very good. Exactly. You got it. Mm -hmm. I am checking. Anybody else? Do you have another example for me? Solo que le repitamos las que hemos hecho para que usted nos diga si estamos bien. Yes, tell me, tell me. I can listen to this. I am homework with my daughter. I am meeting with my college, eh, colegas. Colleges. Colleagues. Colleagues. College. Mm -hmm. I am saving emails. Mm -hmm. I am eating Shanghai food mm -hmm. and I am sleeping mm -hmm. in my mother's house. Very nice. Okay, I like it. Thank you. Anybody else? ¿Alguien más la quiere compartir? Um, Yo sí, chef. Oh, yes, I am checking my email. Mm -hmm. I have to arrange meeting of Monday mm -hmm. or having. Uh, I go visit my family. Yes. I am making reports. Yes. I am going to work. Very nice. Okay, they are good. Very good. Sandra, go. Fatima, no se salva. <laughs> I'm watching you. <laughs> yes, Kirin, Fatima. Go, Sandra, go. Okay, I go to the work, mm -hmm. prepare a PowerPoint presentation. Sandrita, sorry to, sorry to stop you for a second. Como estos no son de todos los días, sino que serían para esta semana o para la, los próximos días, tendría que ser con present continuous. Entonces sería, I am going to work. Solo agreguémosle el ING, I am going to work. En Pero I, estas sí ya son el, el go to the world. Um, um, todo al Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Friday. Pero eh, es algo temporal, ¿verdad? No es algo que siempre es así. No. Es temporal. Entonces, como son actividades temporales, lo expresamos de esa forma. I am, I am going okay. to work or I am working. O sea, me puede ser, de hecho, Sandra, eso sería una buena idea. I am working on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So, porque es temporal. That's a temporary activity. I am working. Mm -hmm. I'm working. Si ahorita usted está preparando algo, I am preparing. I am preparing. Yes, exactly. Porque no es algo de todos los días, sino que es algo especial no. que está pasando these days. Mm -hmm. Okay, girls, I'll see you in just okay. a little bit. Give me one second and I will see you in one minute there. Hey, everyone is back. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. 
thank you guys for coming. I got 20. Oh, we are missing only one person. Very nice. Very good attendance, guys. Nice, nice, nice. So let me just go over here. So people, let's take a look at some of the activities that we got uh, in the presentation. So the question was, what are some activities that you are doing this week? Yeah. And part of the examples here, for example, are um, I am signing payroll, I am sending emails, I am analyzing the advances, pero de hecho sus compañeros tienen vocabulario super técnico que creo que es una buena idea que lo compartan. So uh, we have, for example, engineers, we have doctors, we have accountants, we have some people from the administrative area y tienen la vocabulary that is very nice, you know. So I would like to, to listen to your activities, guys. Any activity that you consider is part of your job, part of your occupation. Uh, con que podamos utilizar para llenar esos cuadritos. Can you help me, please? What are you doing this week? Francisco, let me start with you. Yes. I am doing the bank reconciliation statement. Thank you very much. So what is Francisco doing? Doing, doing. Mm -hmm. Yes, the everybody. Statement. Thank you very much, Francisco, very nice. So he's doing the bank reconciliation statement, okay? Uh, anybody else? Caesar, tell me one activity that you are doing. I am going to supervise any projects. Oh, so you're supervising. Okay, thank you very much. Let me go with uh, Patricia, Sandra Patricia. What are you doing? Um, what are you doing in, cl in, in class? An English class? No, mm -hmm. I mean, what? No, 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 sorry. My question is about. So, what are you doing this week? Like part of the activities that you were ah, doing? Okay. okay. A shaking class. I am shaking class. Okay. So, you're taking some classes. All right. Thank you. Um, I got, for example, Andres. Hey, Andres. Good evening. Andres, what is an activity that you are doing this week? Part Hi, everybody. Good evening. Hello, hello, thank you for coming. I am meeting with my boss and firm a contract with client. Okay, so you're signing, uh, are you signing contract? Signing? Signing, signing. Signing, are you signing uh, contract? Yes, yes. Yeah. Okay. My boss. Oh, not you. <laughs> So your boss is signing oh. contract. Oh. Okay. No, but that's okay. That's okay. So your boss is signing contract. Okay. So we got a lot of activities right here. Any other activity, guys? Uh, Madeline, what are you doing this week? Take a meeting. So you're taking a meeting? I have a meeting. You're having a meeting. Okay. Thank you. That's all right. Um, Luz, what is an activity you are doing this week? Luz, light. Oh, it's that it's a mute me. Sorry. Oh, there you Checking go. Checking my email. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, me. Mm -hmm. Meeting. Mm -hmm. uh, going visit my family. Okay. Mm -hmm. Making reports is okay. going to work. Very nice. Thank you. Thank you, Luz. That was a very nice description. Okay, everybody, let's take a look at the following activity we got right here. Estamos hablando de futuras actividades. So here we have, let's say, questions, okay? How to make questions in English. Uh, first of all, vamos a trabajar un poquito con las just no questions que no están acá, así que se las voy a incluir. Uh, so give me just bear with me a second. 
Ok, so first, vamos a comenzar with something here para que podamos comprender de dónde viene la una, just, una question, all right? Eh, in present continuous utilizamos el verbo be. So, como usamos el be, una pregunta de si no sería super simple, just asking are. Let me make this a little bit bigger so you can look at this. Ok, so, I just no question es super fácil porque solamente es are you. Y luego el día en el ¿ok? Are you working on Saturday? So, are you working on Saturday? Guys, el, denme un emoji quién está trabajando el sábado. ¿Quién va a ir a trabajar ese sábado? Are you working on Saturday? I mean, next Saturday. Doris. Ok, Doris is working on Saturday. Guys, give me an emoji. Isaac is working on Saturday as well. Ok. So Doris, Isaac. I am. Milagro. Ava. Ok. Ok. Sandra, also. All right. Fatima, as well. All right. All right. So let's take a look at the next one. Are you visiting your family? Your family on the next week? Are you visiting your family next week? Give me an emoji, please, if you are visiting your family next week. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Yes. <laughs> thank you. Francisco. Okay. Francisco. Thank you. Give me an emoji, guys. Only Francisco? I only see Francisco's emoji. Fatima. Okay. Andres. All right. Okay. That's all right. Next one. Let me ask you next question. Are, are you getting, are you getting a new job soon? Maybe are you getting a new job or are you changing your jobs? Are you getting a new job soon? Give me an emoji if the answer is yes. Give me an emoji. Are you getting a new job, a different job? Are you changing jobs? Nobody. Okay, so you like your company? That's okay, that's nice. Okay, let me ask you next. Are you, um, let's talk about plans. Are you having coffee? Are you having coffee? Tomorrow, are you having coffee tomorrow? Give me an emoji if the answer is yes. Are you having coffee? Si, sorry, okay. Andres, okay. Veronica, Sandra, okay. Ava, <laughs> that's necessary. Okay, okay, nice. Nice, nice, nice. Jennifer also, okay. Her song as well, nice. So if you pay attention here, we have just no questions. Entonces, yeah. cuando tenemos yes, no questions, mi respuesta es solamente yes, I am. Y si fuera negativa, no. No, I'm not. Exactly. No, I am not. Y eso es todo. So, are you working on Saturday? Yes, I am. Or no, I am not. Are you visiting your family next week? Yes, I am. Or no, I am not. Are you getting a new job soon? No, I'm not. Are you having coffee tomorrow? Yes, I am. So, porque la respuesta es, are you? Okay. ¿Estamos bien hasta acá? Are we good? Do you have any question? Comments? Do you want me to repeat? Uh, yes. Las respuestas uh, sí son cortas, debe ser solo... Así, o, o se o tiene que alargar, se tiene que pues, eh, dar explicación. Bueno, well, esta es la respuesta corta, right? But, but of course, usted puede dar una respuesta un poquito más larga. Por ejemplo, usted puede decir, here, cuando tengo, are you working on Saturday? Yes, I am, sería la respuesta corta. Pero digamos que queremos dar un poquito de, de ir más largo, right? De hablar un poquito más inglés y practicar. So, sería, yes, I am working next Saturday. Exactly. So, solamente lo alargo. Yes, I am working next Saturday. Are you visiting your family next week? 
No, I am not. I am not be sitting, be sitting my family, my family next week because of the coronavirus. Coronavirus, okay? So, usted puede dar un poco más de explicación, no hay ningún problema. La respuesta sí puede ser cortita. You can simply say, yes, I am. No, I am not. Y eso sería todo, right? So, guys, do me, um, ¿estamos claros hasta acá? Are we okay? Okay. Yes. Para todos es la misma respuesta, ¿verdad, teacher? Estas preguntas son Para... de sí o no. Este tipo de preguntas solo es sí o no. Entonces, usted me va a decir, yes, I am, no, I am not. Y ya está ahí pero me puede dar información. Yes, I am working. Yes, I'm getting a new job. Uh -huh. pero, es la, la, pero es bien directa, sí o no. Uh -huh. Entonces, la forma de identificar esas preguntas es con el, con el inicio, are you? Uh -huh. Yes. Eh, por ejemplo, eh, César, si se recuerda con el primer módulo, ustedes veían, are you a doctor? Y usted dice, sí o no, right? Are you a teacher? Sí o no. Yes, I am. No, I am not. Eso es igual. This is the same. Exactly the same. So, guys, okay. do me a big favor, please. Eh, escríbanme eh, tres, cuatro preguntitas utilizando esto. Are you? Y luego ING. So, are you ING? Ok, guys. So, mientras terminamos, mientras trabajamos en eso, eh, déjame ir por el segundo control de asistencia. Solamente me ayudan, por favor, eh, siempre con la cámara, you know, and uh, mm, mm, mm. y me dicen present. So, give me one second. Let me have here, I got, eh, Isaac, ya estábamos por acá. Cristian también. Isaac, estamos por acá, right? I got a Luz. También estamos here, right? Luz ya está acá. Thank you so much. Edith. Hello. Hello. Thank you, Edith. Eh, Sandra Patricia. Present. Thank you, Sandra. Uh, Silvia. Silvia Chamele. Thank you very much. And uh, Andres. Andrew. Hi, teacher. Present. Thank you very much. Yes, yes. Almost, almost complete again. Okay, guys. So let me know if you need more time. Let me know, please, when you are ready.
Okay, guys, are we good? Ev did everybody finish? Do you need more time? Dawn. Thank you very much. Okay, okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, guys, so si ya les tenemos, keep it there, porque vamos con la siguiente parte. We are going to use the following thing, que quizás le requiera un poquito más de, de pensamiento. Okay, and a little bit of more air, effort. Si comprendemos la parte de, de esto, de las yes no question, eso, esta parte va a ser fácil, okay? So, let me just eh, share this a little bit. So, si la pregunta es, are you, are you working on Saturday? Mi respuesta es solamente sí o no, right? Yes, yes I am, no I am not. Pero, ¿qué sucede? Si yo quiero preguntar más, yo quiero más información, yo quiero detalles, okay? Quiero que me cuenten, because I'm very curious. Entonces yo vengo y ya no quiero saber solo sí o no. Quiero pedir más información. Entonces yo voy a utilizar aquellas famosas WH words, ¿ok? ¿Qué significa? Voy a empezar a pedir información. So, what are the WH words? If you remember, we have what, where, where, when, why, why, who, how, who, uh, who, which, exactly. How long? Oh, very nice. How long? Yes. How many? Exactly. So, entonces yo voy a utilizar esas WH para pedir detalles. Porque yo no quiero solo que me digan si o no. I need details. I need information. You know, me gusta el chambre. Así que I am going to always ask you for why, when, where. Okay. So, are you working on Saturday? Pero qué palabra, qué WH puedo yo poner ahí para que tenga sentido? Porque no se puede con todas. So let's think a little bit. Are you working on Saturday? Puedo preguntar, what Where are you working? Are you working? Where, ¿a dónde vas a trabajar el sábado? Yes. Where no. are you Or working why? on Saturday? Why? No, pero, why are you working on Saturday? Go to your house, asleep. Okay, so why are you working? And Vero is like, yes. <laughs> why am I working on Saturday? Okay, so why are you working on Saturday? So, no se puede con todas. Remember, tiene que haber like a little bit of something. Okay, are you visiting, are you visiting your family next week? So, yo puedo ponerle a couple well, of them. Why? Why are you visiting your family? Where are you visiting your family? Okay. Now, imagínense que yo voy a eliminar el tomorrow y yo tengo, are you having coffee? So, ¿qué puedo utilizar en la última? What can I use in the last? When? When? When are you having coffee? ¿Qué más? When? Oh, who? Oh. How are you having coffee? Yes, two. When? Yes. Where are you having coffee? ¿Qué más? Who? ¿Con quién vas a tomarte el café? Uh -huh. Who? Pero si yo tengo quiero el con quién, voy a utilizar al final with. Who are you having coffee with? ¿Con quién vas a tener el café? ¿Con quién vas a tomarte un café? Siempre que usted vea who y quiera decir con quién, va a utilizar with al final de su oración. Who are you having coffee with? Yes. Y usted le, oh, with my sister, with my friend, yeah, with my family, so, etc., etc., with my client, with my customer, okay, with my boss. So, this is the way how we make questions. So, here, for example, I can ask you, why, y por qué vas a, a buscar otro empleo? Why are you getting a new job soon, okay? When are you visiting... Where, where, yes. When no, are you visiting no, no. your family? Mm -hmm. So, ve vemos como el orden. Vemos como eh, la diferencia entre una de sí, no, y la de, y la de información. Do you see the difference? Yes. Yes? Yes. Yes, miss. Okay. Okay, guys. So, if you see the difference, let's do something. Adicionalmente a las que tienen de sí no, intentemos hacer dos más. Only two. Try to make two WH questions que sean diferentes. Additionally to the ones that you have. Two more. Dos más. 
si les cuesta un poquito poner las ideas o saber dónde va cada una de ellas, vamos a recordar lo siguiente. Mm, voy a escribir acá, bueno. Ok. So, vamos a recordar o vamos a poner en práctica como el orden, right? The order of these type of questions. Let me choose a different color here. Okay. So, I'm going to have a WH. Then, I'm going to have el verbo be. Remember que no solamente es el verbo be, right? So, then, I am going to have the subject of the sentence. Eso es en caso que necesiten como una guía de cómo saber cómo ordenarla. Luego voy a utilizar el ING y luego cualquier cosa. Complement. Complement. So, this is the structure that you can follow si se les hace un poquito difícil ordenarla. You can follow this. And if you pay attention, cumplimos con todos los elementos. Why are you working? So vamos siguiendo como cada uno de los elementos que debe tener, right? Try to complete two. Okay. Try to have two. Y si necesitan o si quieren que se las revisen, me pueden escribir en el chat. You can write them in the chat. Eh, si se sienten más cómodas escribiendo y, eh, en privado, hay una opción que dice todo, si dice ahí eh, inglés corporativo, so me, pueden, me la pueden mandar, right? No, no hay problema, you're totally fine. Guys, just a little something. Recordemos que, que a veces el micrófono lo dejamos activado en be careful, right? Eh, por, por cuestiones de privacidad, no, no vaya a ser que en algún momento se quede por ahí activado. Just make sure, right? That you deactivate it. Please give me verbal confirmation when you finish, when you are ready. If you want me to check them, mandenmela, send them in the chat, okay? Or you can do that orally, no, no, no problem. So you're totally fine. Done. Thank you so much, Doris. Done. Thank you, guys. ¿Cómo lo sintieron? ¿Estaba un poquito difícil? ¿Was it difficult? ¿O no les causó mucha, mucho problema? No. Not no too much. Problem. No problem. No problem? Okay, nice. <laughs> nice, that's good. Very, very good. Let me see, me falta alguien. Sure. Hello. Eh, who, WHO, ¿cómo lo traduzco? WHO, ¿quién? Como una persona ¿Quién? cuando se pregunta de quién. Who are you? Who? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Es quién.
Okay, everybody. So, Okay, guys, so uh, is everybody ready? Al menos dos, at, at least two, right? If you need more time, let me know. Si estamos todos listos, let's go and practice. So, ¿cómo respondo una pregunta de este tipo? Well, obviously, tengo que dar información. I have to give information. So, why are you working on Saturday? Oh, because, because I need the money, because it's my schedule, etc., right? Escuché teacher, but I'm not sure. No. So it was me. <laughs> okay, I heard somebody said teacher. Okay. Okay, guys. So, everybody ready? Sandra, are you ready? Sandra, are you ready? Yes. Yes. Nice. Andres, are you ready? Ready, teacher. Yes, very good. Avilene? I prefer Avilen, so I don't know why. Avilen sounds super good. Okay, everybody, so let's go and practice as your classmates some of these questions, you know. I'm going to switch the group. Siempre voy a rotar los grupos, so you have more opportunities to practice with other people. And uh, also, porque me están quedando juntos. The same people. So give me one minute. everybody so let's go to the groups you have only a uh, like seven minutes to practice and then we come back because we have a reading to do so let's go let's join everybody oh Doris you're out give me a second everybody let's join Hi, Isaac. Isaac, are you right here? Are you going beach on Sunday? Uh, Sunday. I am going uh, visit my family on Saturday. Okay. ¿Cómo? Solo compra respuestas de sí o no. Ah, sí o no. Ah, repito la pregunta, Fátima. Ok. ¿Are you going beach on Sunday? 
no, I am not. Okay. Ahora yo pregunto a Sandra, Patricia. Okay. Um, are you eating pizza tomorrow? No, I'm not. And Doris, are you eating seafood in the Monday? Doris, microphone. No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Hoy hacemos las preguntas más largas, teacher. Yes. Las del yeah. I want to listen to details. <laughs> I like listening to a lot of details, so let's go. Ok, Dori, pregúntele. When, when are you going to the gym? Sí, fíjate que... I am going to the gym when... Before pandemia, because I have a, I have a, um, miedo, ¿cómo se dice? I am scared. So, but I'm you're scared. Going, but you're going after. Yes, I am going after pandemia. Oh, okay, okay. So you are afraid because I am scared. Okay. Yes. Okay. But I know I need this. <laughs> I, I really need it. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay. Guys, and what about... Yeah, sorry, continue, continue. Okay, and... Avilen, why are you eating salad? <laughs> ah. Repeat. <laughs> Why are you eating salad? Eating salad. La última palabra. Why? Salad. A salad is food with tomatoes, with lettuce, with cucumber. So when you are on a diet because you want to be super skinny, you eat only salad. Why? Why are you eating salad? I'm not eating salad. <laughs> <laughs> Only pupusas. Uh, <laughs> Only pan dulce. Avilen, and what about you? <laughs> Why are you eating salad? Why significa, significa el por qué, ¿verdad? Porque. Yep. Porque eating es el verbo comer, ¿verdad? Salar. Sala, es ensalada, ¿verdad? Ensalada. Yes. Ah, ya. Yeah. Uh, why do you, why are you, what are you bueno. eating salad? ¿Por qué como ensalada? Uh, saludarle, por, ¿cómo se dice? En Salud. inglés. Healthy. Uh, ¿Cómo? Healthy. No. Healthy. Uh, but, but I am uh, because no. I am eating salad because uh, eating saludable. ¿Cómo es? Saludable. La palabra saludable. Healthy. 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 Ah. Nice, nice. Ay, that was good. Perdón. That was a good answer. Perdón. Good. <laughs> okay. Ahora yo. Uh, yo pregunto a César. Okay. César, what are you going to fish? I go into my beach, I go into the beach with my family. Okay. Okay. Uh, when? 
tomorrow. You bite me. Invite us. Come on, Caesar. And your friends. And your friends. And your friends. Está. Y la que está no cocina. Good. <risa> es que hace rotulito lo pongo el domingo ahí en la cocina. Nice. Entonces usted puso. Entonces díctemela para copiarla, por favor. Eh, who are you cooking? Sí. Dinner. Diner o dinner. Diner week. With. With. Ajá. Entonces ahí sería con quién va a cocinar la cena. Milagro. Hola. Este. Are you cooking this this weekend? Yes. ¿Y cómo que me dijo que no cocinaba, pues? I know say that. No, I am you not know cooking. No. <laughs> Milagro. Es que es el, solo, solo el domingo. Ah, el domingo. Monday. Ah, okay. On Monday. <laughs> no. Monday. And on Monday. No. Solo no. lunes. No, no. Sunday. Sunday. Perdón, uh -huh. Sunday. El domingo no cocino. Okay. It's for rat. <laughs> Comida Ay, rápida. Para, El domingo what? que tenga hambre que vea que come. <risa> Yo no estoy. I am, I am cooking. I am cooking on Sunday. Nice. In the breakfast and the ah, lunch. Pero como, como digo, yo no cocino el domingo. I, not, I am not cooking Sunday. I am not cooking on, on. Le pongo el on. On Sunday. Yes. Sí, verdad. Yes, that's right. On Sunday. <coughs> On Sunday. I am not. I am not cooking. cooking. On Sunday. On Sunday. Gracias, I Francisco. Am. Okay. You're welcome. <laughs> Teacher, siempre póngame con Francisco, por favor. I try, I try. Que mire, solo él me tiene paciencia. No, también estamos todos. Everybody, everybody will help you. Gustos. Yes, yes, me later. No, but I'm super happy, guys, that you are a very nice group and y se ayuda. So everybody, I listen to everybody helping some. Very nice. That's important. Yeah. So, yeah, well, you can continue, uh, guys. Pueden continuar con las WH que son más largas, so you need more information. I see yeah. Isaac ready to answer. Some question. Uh, what's like more in your work? No se escucha, Isaac. What's like for hours in your work. Ada, no ha dicho ninguna, please. Who are What? you go, who are you playing basket? Who are, who, who are you playing basket? Or who? 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 Playing. El signo del zodiaco se llama. Y nosotros de zodiac. Se van a ver. Pero... Hello, teacher. Hello, teacher. Hello. Is... I'm talking about a book. What is ah. the name of your book? Mm -hmm. Zodiac. The zodiac. Sí. The zodiac sign. Uh -huh. Is that a good book? Yeah. Do you recommend it? It's, yes. But no, it's sobre... say. But isn't it sobre los signos del zodiaco, la like Libra, and all that stuff? No. No. <laughs> es, es que. Pero me quiero ver si lo encuentro. 
Is that in English? Es, es que básicamente el, el libro in the, es... In English, like in English, sobre... in English. The book is about... You can do it, come yes, on. Yes, Everybody yes. will help you. Ki, uh, the Soviet killer. Um, killer. Killer. Uh -huh. Mid, uh, ah, the Soviet killer. Killer. Uh -huh. Ah, a person killer. who kills. A person uh -huh. who kills. The Soviet killer. Uh -huh. With every Soviet sign. If you are, if you are, I don't know, Capricorn, he kills people. Yeah, yeah, I think I have heard about it. Pero nunca lo he leído. I have never read it. It's about crime, right? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. I need to read that book. Yes, yes, I, I have heard about it. Mm -hmm. I have heard. Y es bien famoso mm -hmm. because people say que fue real. People say that it was real. I don't know, like a serial killer. Okay. Yes, este. Okay. Oh, you are reading a book. Okay, so you are reading a book. Super nice. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, girls. So let's go back to business. ¿Cómo van con las preguntas? How are you doing with the questions here? Did you finish? Are you in process? Yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. Very good. That's okay. Did you have any issue? ¿Tuvieron alguna dificultad? Did you have any difficulty? Respondiendo a las preguntas largas, no, the long no. questions. No, you didn't? Okay, very no. good. That's nice. That's very important. Yo tengo uh, una pregunta. Yes, Silvia, tell me. No recuerdo bien si usted dijo que el verbi no se puede usar con el verbo do. Mm, Por ejemplo. Es que estaba haciendo una pregunta con el What are you doing? Uh -huh. ¿Qué harás? Pero me quedé pensando porque estaría como repitiendo la misma palabra. Ah, ok, gacha. No, lo, lo que sucede, eh, no se puede, no se puede. Pero en este contexto, por ejemplo, What are you do. Por ejemplo, esto, esto, eh, Silvia, eso por ejemplo, digamos que yo intente hacer una pregunta, ¿qué haces o qué estás haciendo? Y yo lo hago con el verbo be y luego do sin conjugar el do. Eso no se puede. What are you do? O por ejemplo, que se diga, hey, ¿dónde trabajas? Where are you work? Eso no se puede. You cannot do this. Entonces, lo que hacemos para que sí podamos hacer esa combinación es que le agregamos un, un ing y eso ya se puede. This is good. So what, what are, are eso no tiene sentido obviamente, mm -hmm. <laughs> this doesn't make sense, pero yo puedo decir what are you working, mm -hmm. y si sería el what, what are you, como yo no puedo decir what do, you entonces le agrego ing, exacto, y esto sí okay. se puede, what you can do this, doing? lo que no se puede es tenerlo yeah. así Silvia, what are you doing? eso no se puede, yes. Okay. Okay, girls. Yes. Uh, you're welcome. I believe time is over. So let's go back to the meeting, please. Let's go back. Teacher, a question. Teníamos una duda en el, en el grupo sobre hacer la pregunta con which. ¡Salud! Teacher, I got allergies. Sorry. Yes, so you had a question on how to use which. Andrés, explícale. Dígame, what was your question? En el uso del wish, queríamos cómo formular de decir, eh, bueno, primero, eh, cómo utilizar el wish en, en una en una sentencia. Entonces, había preguntado, eh, which are you eating favorite fruit? O cómo, o sea, solo, solo, solo corrí. Vale, si estoy en lo, en lo correcto. Recuerdo que el which es cuando yo tengo, uh, por ejemplo, opciones, o esta o la otra. 
cuál es. ¿Cuál es? ¿Qué cosa tiene específica? Permítame que perdí mi... mi... <risa> Había perdido la pantalla. <risa> Había perdido el unmute. Eh, sí, Francisco tiene toda la razón. Normalmente el which usted es porque tiene dos opciones. ¿Ok? I got the cell phone y tengo este otro. So, which do you prefer? Puedo preguntar... Usted tiene una selección. Puedo preguntar, Dígame. which are you preferring? The apple o orange? Pre mm. Mm. No, no, no se puede. Eh, y le explico por qué. Porque utilizamos el ING para este momento. Yes. Pero prefer ya es como una preferencia. Eh, preferring no sonaría eh, como que es de este momento. Sino favorite. es siempre uh, un favorite. Ah, y okay. su favorite siempre es un favorite. Ah, nunca cambia. Entonces, uh -huh. ese tipo de, de, de choices no son de este momento. Maybe... But, um, uh, his question sería, what do you prefer? Yes, Fíjese que ambas están bien. Fíjese que both, both. Eh, in that case, both are good and both are possible. Eh, si usted pregunta which, es porque yo ya sé de cuál está hablando, pero usted puede preguntar which do you prefer. Por ejemplo, digamos que estamos hablando de, no sé, de camisetas, de camisas, de blusas. So, which do you prefer? Eh, preferring, I wouldn't say that one. So, the blue one. The blue one or the white one. Or the white one. Entonces, usted ya tiene como, eh, ¿cuál preferís? ¿La azul o la blanca? The blue one or the, or the white one. Usted ya las tiene. En cambio, what? What do you prefer? What do you prefer es demasiado general. Yeah, so which, incluso acá puedo hacerlo más cortito, which uh, shirt do you prefer? ¿Cuál camiseta? ¿Cuál camisa prefieres? Which shirt do you prefer? Es bien específica, right? And what is Pero no se bien podría general. utilizar con ING. Mm, con prefer no. Es que el detalle no es, el detalle es este verbo. Con prefer no. Con prefer no. Uh -huh. Hay un par de verbos que no se pueden. Eh, prefer is one of them. Tell me, guys. ¿Nos puede regalar un ejemplo Por de cómo ejemplo. El, el which con eh, el ING? Uh, let me think which. Yes, tell me, Silvia. When is which are you eating of apple or watermelon? No se puede tampoco. Esta, esta, right, Silvia? Uh -huh. Esta sí se puede. Lo que sucede es, es por el verbo, por el prefer, que suena como un poquito extraño. Esto sí se puede, porque con ir se puede. So, which fruit are you eating? Tengo dos frutas en la casa. ¿Cuál te estás comiendo ahorita? Which fruit are you eating? The apple or the watermelon? Eso sí, that sounds actually like a good one. Imagínense que tengo dos libros, right? I have, which book are you reading? The, I don't know, dígame un libro, tell me the name of a book. I got no idea right now. El retrato de Dorian Gray. Oh, the portrait of Dorian Gray. Ajá. The alchemist. Gray. Or Harry Potter. <laughs> I, I have all the, the books of Harry Potter. I really love them. Or the alchemist. But let's use the alchemist. Alchemist. Okay. Esto sí se puede. Which book are you reading? Porque sé que usted tiene dos libros y solo tiene dos opciones. Which book are you reading? The Portrait of Dorian Gray or The Alchemist? Esto sí se puede. Teacher, uh, that's, uh, the sentence, the sentence uh, changes the position of the, the verb. The mm. verb position is a, a, a finish in the question. No, uh, después del... No, es que ¿no? se ve que la estructura cambia. O lo, sea, que agregamos, la... lo que agregamos es cambia. esto. Con which es un poquito diferente. No es, ma... no es muy común, I have to tell you. But of course it's possible. Si cambia porque voy a agregarlo acá juntito. Which book? Which fruit? Entonces van juntitos. Yes. So eso sí se puede. You can do this. Pero con prefer no. ¿Podemos usar otros verbos? I think we can use different verbs. Yeah, like reading, eating, buying. Uh, watching, okay. So this one definitely works. Yes. Uh, no sé si quedó un poquito más claro. Is this a little clearer? Yes, yes. 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 
Clear okay. with horchata. <laughs> like, as el water river. Okay. <laughs> okay, guys, very nice. So, if we are super clear, we are going to create a little conversation using present continuous, but also using this. Let's take a look. It says here, create a conversation with the following words. Vamos a crear una conversación cortita, very, very short, en la que incluyamos estas tres palabras y presente continua. Lift. ¿Cuál, el, cuál era el significado de lift? What is the meaning of lift? Lo vimos al inicio. Ay, lo vimos al inicio de la sesión. Ascender. Levantar. Levantar. Ah, okay. Uh, let me explain this. In the United States is elevator and the UK in England se llama lift al mismo elevator. Okay. So, but lift lo usamos como levantar, levantar algo como I got this one, tengo un par de boxes, I'm going to lift them. Voy a levantarlos, right? Improve. What is the meaning of improve? Mejorar. Mejorar. Very good. So I need to improve. I need to get better. Okay. Advances. What is the meaning of advance or advances? Avance. Avanzar. Avanzar. Avances. Como los avances, como las mejoras. All right. So those are advances. When you say, oh, voy a presentar my, my, my advances in technology because I create technology. So advances. Okay, everybody. So vamos a hacer grupitos super pequeñitos. And uh, I will give you only 10 minutes to make a short conversation utilizando esas palabras. Include the words. Okay, pueden incluirles con ING, etc. And also, eh, incluyamos presente continuo. Try to include as much vocabulary as possible. Um, just give me a second. Okay, give me a second. Give me a second, give me a second. Two, 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 two. two, 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 two. Okay, los grupos están super pequeñitos. And the groups are super, super small. And let's get going, everybody. So let's go, please. You have only 10 minutes. Let's join the groups. Hi, Luz.
pero usted, le puede, usted me puede decir eso. Ok, teacher, I have a, uh, we have a question. And uh, the question is... Uh, Tell me. Uh, the, uh, the activity is uh, make a conversation. Yeah, guys, so you have to make a conversation using the um, words left, improve. <clears throat> Sorry. Yeah, you have to, present to make continue. it. Mm -hmm. And also present continuous. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Only that. Okay. Okay. No, es solamente eso. Es la conversación en presente. Oh, continuo. yeah, only the conversation. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Bye. Entonces, Epson. I five say Kerso. Look, a report is complete uh, because working uh, in studies very complete. Toda la semana. Because? Oh. Me he dedicado toda la semana because I can't let teacher. Eh, teacher. Um, quiero decir porque lo, lo armamos work en la semana. All week. Work. Because, uh -huh, because I am work, work all week. Porque trabajo todos los because I am wo work all week. Work all week. Did you solve? ¿Resolvieron la, la duda que tenía? Yes. Creo que era yeah. eso, ¿verdad? ¿Cómo decir he trabajado toda la semana? Uh -huh. Pero así es, como lo dije. Ese es un, no, esa es una forma. Está súper, súper bien. Le voy a compartir otra. I'm going to share one more. Es un poquito más elaborada, digamos, pero funciona eh, perfecto para el contexto que ustedes tienen. Es que Ay, me pregunta, ¿cómo vamos en el avance? Y le digo yo que ya finalizamos. Uh -huh. O sea, ya lo, ya lo finalicé. You can finish. say, it's done, or it's over, or I'm done, I'm finished. I have been working. It's Usted puede over. decir, oh, the whole week. Uh, the whole week. So le voy a compartir esa expresión que podemos utilizar para decir, está en el chat, que podemos usar para decir, he I estado have... trabajando la semana entera. I have been working the whole week. So se puede decir, I have been working the whole week on the report. Okay. I haven't. Been... Mm -hmm. I, I have been, I have been. Yo he oh, estado okay. trabajando. Mm -hmm. I have been. Teacher, ¿cómo se dice cuáles son los pendientes? What are so? What are your pending activities? Or what More. are are your pending activities? Or más sencillo, what do you have to do? What do you have to do? Have to mm -hmm. do. Yes. What do you have to do? Girls, tenemos tres minutitos más. We got three more minutes. Let's go on. Um, déjeme ir yeah, a un grupo. ¿Cómo se contestaría? ¿Cuál pregunta? La de Jennifer. Mm, ¿Cómo? La pregunta de La pregunta de Jennifer. Yes. Se recuerda que vimos lo de have to. I have to and I need to. Entonces lo podemos responder de esa forma. So, oh, okay. I have to do this, I have to do that, and I need to do this. So, con el need to and have to. Mm -hmm. I'll see you in a bit. Me están llamando del otro grupo. <laughs> okay. Hello, I'm here. Entonces, Tell me. Did you call you. me? No. Me llamaron? No. Es que teníamos la duda entre el where y el when. <laughs> ¿Qué, qué <Bye>. significaba? <laughs> ¿Lo, ¿Lo solucionaron? ¿Did you solve it? ¿O todavía tienen? Eh, nosotros creemos que sí. Bye, o si sea, la primera pregunta que habíamos uh -huh. hecho es. Uh, when are you meeting for advances the new project? Mm -hmm. Where or when? When is uh, when? Está bien. ¿Cuándo? Sí, porque es de tiempo. Yes, that's good. Uh -huh. When. Uh -huh. Entonces la respuesta es yes. Okay. Uh, meeting uh, Saturday in the morning. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's good. 
Ahora el, el siguiente, lugar, where el lugar are sería, you meeting? Where are you meeting? Yes, that's good. Así nada más, vea. Uh -huh. And where. Incluso, como estamos hablando de meeting, usted le puede preguntar solo, hey, and where. Y ya se entiende que, que estamos hablando de uh -huh. okay. sí, sí, okay. No es necesario decir como todo porque ya lo dijimos, se oye un poquito repetitivo. No hay problema si ustedes ah. lo tienen así, pero se sobreentiende. Si se le pregunto, eh, hey Andrés, when are you meeting? Usted me dice, oh, on, on Saturday. Where? Where? Uh, Entonces where? se sobreentiende. So, so, uh -huh. ah. Exacto, se sobreentiende. Okay. So no problem, you're super good. Uh -huh. Ah, ah, pues sí, ese era okay. nuestro. Ok, uh, tiene un minutito. You got a minute. So let's go, let's go, let's okay. practice. Thanks. Thank you. En Torre Futura, ¿verdad? Yeah. Y ahí, en the second. B, you, you need, need, eh, present, eh. presentar, present. ¿Cómo es presentar? Ficar? O si sea, tú necesitas presentarle los avances a tu jefe. Esos you, avances. Yeah, you can say you need to present, or you yeah. need to show, or you need to um, hand in. Uh, mm. Lo que veíamos ayer, se recuerdan, mm. hand in. So we need to hand in, you mm. need to deliver, you need to show, you need to present. Hay varias mm. formas. Ah, pero hand in mm. en, re, en regular es entregar, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. Entonces, Usted puede decir, you need to show, you can show the, the advances, mm -hmm. or you need to hand in the advances. You need to hand in, ah, sería bien. You need hand in the advances. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. The advances. You, you need hand in the advances. Advance. Your advances. To your boss. To your yes. boss. Yes. <laughs> yes, that sounds good. To your boss, for your boss. Bye. For your boss. No, to your boss. Yeah. Porque es a él. Yes, to your boss. Okay. You need handing. Y hay que contestar si te da. Yes. Uh, yes, thank you. What was that? I do it. Yes, yes I, I do it. Oh. I hand in. Yes, I do it. Yes, I do it. Yes, I do Yes, no. yes, I do it. Yes, Tiene como 30 segundos, so let's go. <laughs> I'll see you. Oh, very nice. Because I'll see you there. Hi everyone, thank you for coming back. Vamos a esperar unos segunditos al resto para que se incorpore as well. ¿Tuvieron alguna dificultad? Did you have any difficulty? Oh, todo super nice. Everything good? ¿Verito? Lo, uh, ¿Qué le decía que ahora hasta le podemos leer la conversación para hacerlo primero? Pero no. ¡Eh! No, no yes. No. No. Oh, I like that attitude. Entre nosotras cuatro. I like your attitude. Le tomo la por obediente. No. Por obediente. Vamos. I, I, I definitely take your word for that. Okay. Okay, everybody. So thank you so much for coming back. That was very nice. And I listened to some of you, pero no alcanza a escucharlos a todos. So I would really like to listen to everybody. First, ¿alguien tiene alguna pregunta que se le haya quedado por ahí o que surgió? And you want to clarify that? ¿O estamos listos para presentar? Are you ready to present? Yes. Ok. So, uh, Vero, do me a big favor. No, wait, wait, Vero, hold on, hold on, hold on. Ok, Vero, do me a big favor, please. Tell me one number from 1 to 19. Oh. Give me one number. Tell me a number from one to nineteen. Uh, okay. uh, un nombre. Um, a number. Quickly. Ada. Un, Ada. Un número. Pero... Un número. A number. Ah. Uh -huh. uh, um. Six. 
One, two, three, four, five, six. Herson, <laughs> Herson, you are number six in my screen. <laughs> so thank you, Herson. Okay, let me take a look. Herson's group. Madeline ya sabe que es la siguiente because Herson is gonna choose her. <laughs> Herson, Luz. No, Madeline, it, it's my team. This is your team. Okay. So, Luz, ready? Madeline, ready? Let's go, guys. Yes. You are in mute. Herson, estás, estás. Herson, estás you're mute. Mutiado. Sorry, sorry. Are you ready, Luz? Yes? Madeline? Yes? Yes, I'm ready. Hello, Luz. How are you? I'm fine, Herson. Ah, okay. Uh, where are you going to next vacation? On vacation? I am not vacation because I am a public employee. Really? And you, Herson? I am going to the Cameron the next vacation because I need oh. to there a lot of time. <laughs> and you, Madeline, where are you going? I am going to the beach. Where beach are you going? I am going to El Tunco. Do you like El Tunco? Oh, really? <laughs> nice. Do you like El Tunco? Yes, I like it because in the night, the people dance, a beer, they drink a beer, and <laughs> and take a shower in the sea. <laughs> Do you want to come with me? Yes, I will go with you. I will go into, uh, yes. <laughs> I am going with you. Okay, her son. That's it, teacher. That's Thank it. you, guys. Very nice job. Emojis, guys. That was super good. Thank you very much. That was nice. Uh, I really like the padded thing and everything. That's very, very good. Uh, guys, eh, well, solo que me deben la parte del lift, right? Me, parte, me deben las tres palabritas, but then super, super good. <laughs> Herson, un número. Tell me a number from 1 to 19. And one. Vero, okay. Vero, you are the first in my screen. So Vero, oh. let's go with you. Um, so we got Vero, Sandra Patricia, and Jennifer. And Jennifer, okay, let's go girls. Sandrita. Sí, lista. Va. Jennifer. Lista. Hello, Veronica and Sandra. Hello. Hello, Jennifer. Hello, Jennifer. Sandra, do you have advance in the month report? Yes, I am advance. I have been working the whole week. What did the advance? Lo dije junto. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Veronica, what do you have to do? <laughs> I have to do graphics. I check emails, all supervises productions. Thanks. The executive leave the production. Thank you. It's done, teacher. <laughs> sorry teacher no don't be sorry that was that was good for me you know that was improvised and everything so i really like it thank you very much girls and that was clear so thank you that was all right um uh, and i really like that you included also the new vocabulary so that was nice that was nice uh, jennifer one number from one to 19 y el ultimo of the night so let's go for that one well well, 5, 10, 11, and 12. Isaac, you are my number 12. So in Isaac's group, I see Avilen and Sandra Beatriz. You are the lucky ones. 
milagros es el voy a orar. Ahora que lo tenía listo, imagínate. Ah, pero yo le puedo ceder el lugar, milagro. <risa> Okay, I want to listen. Practicar la cortesía. I want to listen to you guys. Let's go. <laughs> okay. Avilen. Okay. Ready? Yes. Okay. Hello, Avilen. How are you? Hi, Sandra. Very good. How going at work? I need to leave my salaries and I drop my income. And you, Isaac, how are you today in your salaries? Regular, I need to increase and report my knowledge about hydraulics. My salary this month has become. Really, me too. Very good. I hope we improve it. Finished. Okay, thank you guys. That was all right. Uh, thank you for including also this new vocabulary. That sounded very good to me. Uh, Isaac, sorry, solo lo quiero molestar because there was a word that I didn't get. It said the sales this month have increased or have decreased. Great. Isaac? Isaac? Aumentar, increase. Oh, increase. Okay, very nice. Yeah, I didn't listen to the to the word completely. Thank you very much. Yeah, that, that is very nice, guys. Okay, everybody. So that was super good. Thank you for your participation to the, today. You were awesome. Very nice job. I like it, guys. All of these, you're improving and getting better. Super good. Eh, please, guys, recuerden que mañana es viernes, eh, terminamos la sesión y terminamos la unidad número 3. Eh, tres. Tres. Pero eh, hasta el lunes, pero les agradecería enormemente me dejen terminado el día de mañana toda la sección número 3 hasta la, eh, la parte 5, o sea, todita, completita, please. Y así el sábado no los estoy molestando en la noche, please, mándamelo. So, gracias a todos. Thank you so much for your help. I'll see you tomorrow and have a very good night. Enjoy it, guys. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow See you. tonight. See you to <laughs> today, tomorrow. Bye, Francisco. Gracias. Bye. Check tomorrow the advances. <laughs> Francisco, ya vio. I have Ahora to do that. Teníamos. I have to do that. <laughs> no se preocupe, lo dejamos para bonita. mañana. Y tan bonita que estaba nuestra conversación, imagínese. <laughs>